Hey guys, this week I'm going to glue the bottom panel, I'm going to scarf the polonia strips so I can add them to the side panels. I will try to coat some of the panels and in between while I wait for epoxy to dry, I will try to make the center case and the rudder box. So let's get to it. First we need to mark a center line so we can be sure that this is in the right place because you will need a center line on the bottom as well to make sure the bulkheads are in the right position as well as a center case. Okay, now we need a line parallel to that one, one on this side and one on the other, to line up the side panels. And before you mix all the epoxy, make sure you've got everything else ready for the gluing process. That's that done. I have mixed 60 grams of epoxy. That should be enough to pre-coat this and glue the panels. So I'm gonna add the microfibers to the remaining epoxy. Okay, I think that's the bottom panel done. Now I'll just have to wait. Now I'm going to do the scars on these Polonia strips. Uh, I need 3 meter 70 and these are only 240 so I'm gonna have to scarf them. I have cut already three pieces from another two, another three strips and the leftovers unfortunately they're not long enough for the next one but I will scarf two of these and then I'll scarf this on the other strip. I only have four because I'm using the filleting method, so I only need these strips for the top of the side panels um, to put the decks, to glue the decks on. If you are using the timber frame method, you're gonna need another four, so that's a total of eight. Four for the top and four to glue the bottom one, but I only need four. So these cars are not that important, to be honest, because once again, this will not be structural, this is just so that you can get enough glue surface to glue one side of the plywood and the, other, and the top. Um, so I will only do like maybe 50 millimeters or a couple of inches scarf, that will be more than enough. I've been told that you can even do butt joints on these ones for the interior pieces, but maybe I'll try that later. Well, as you can see, I've done this the easiest way possible. I'm not too worried how they're gonna look. They're all gonna be either inside the tanks or covered by the deck, even on the outside. All you're gonna see maybe it's this little edge, but since I'm painting it, it doesn't really matter. If you use the tenon saw, like I did, make sure you keep that saw absolutely vertical or you're gonna end up with slightly skewed um, joints and there's only so much that epoxy with microfibers can compensate for. Okay, to finish this one, I need to glue these two first. As you can see, 
it can't be any easier than these guys. This, like any other scarf, the only purpose is to join two pieces of wood. In this case, it's not even structural. If you're building a mast or a yard or a gaff, something like that, then you have to be more careful. You have also, you have to make longer scarves. There's actually a formula for that. You cannot do two times the width of the stave, to be honest. But in this case, all we need is them to be together so we can use it to glue a bit of plywood to another bit of plywood. Okay, while I wait for those scarves to cure, I'm going to work on the center case. Put the two 25 by 25 bits, put them roughly in place and make sure you've got the desired gap in between them. Check the plans. Otherwise, your center board might not fit. Okay, I've mixed 12 grams of epoxy and I've pre-coated the gluing areas and now I've, I'm mixing microfibers on the remaining of the epoxy. Uh, I will glue the spacers only to one side of the center case. I cannot close it yet because this needs to be coated with three coats of epoxy and this piece as well. I'm not going to do anything else today, there's about three hours work so far today, uh, well more to come tomorrow. Right, the scarves are cured now, let's have a closer look at this. Considering it was done just a few minutes. So they didn't turn out too bad in the end. But imagine you don't want to wait half a day or something for epoxy to cure. Well, there's another solution in this case. This is commonly known as super glue. the first time I'm using this but the designer said it should be okay because this is not structural all we need is the gluing area created by these small strips of wood you could actually do it just but join two of these and it would still work so two minutes now in total it's nice and dry now There you go, can you tell the difference? No problem whatsoever, two minutes join. Thanks for the tip Michael. Would it work as a butt joint? Let's try it. That seems to work. Remember all you need is a piece of wood that can leave in place and then the plywood will go on this side and the other one on this side. That's even quicker than uh, scarfing, isn't it? Just make sure you've got 90 degree tops though. Still prefer my epoxy glued scarves. Oh, okay. This one is super glued. <laughs> oh, this one, this one. Time to see how the butt joint turned out. That's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Okay guys, now I have my port side tank and starboard side tank. 
I want to pre-coat with epoxy these inside faces. These are the faces that are actually in the tank, so they are very hard to reach once it's assembled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-coat them before assembly and you have to pay attention because this will go here if it's the cockpit side of the tank and they will go on the opposite face if it's the outside of the tank. So pay attention to that because I need to mask the gluing areas so I can epoxy it. So I'm going to write here port cockpit port outside starboard cockpit starboard outside right so on the outside panel I need tape everywhere except the top edge so that's the port outside panel you don't need tape here because the strip of wood or the gunnel if you want to call it I don't know uh, it will go on that side now port cockpit side I'm gonna need to tape well all the edges of the plywood really you should have two mirrored panels one we tape on all the edges and the other one, no tape on the top. Next, I'm gonna tape the bottom. This portion is also the interior of the tank, so it's easier if you pre-coat it now. Beautiful winter's day. So I'm gonna take advantage of this beautiful sunshine and I will try to coat some panels, take advantage of the dry weather and so I can put the panels outside to dry. Before I go outside, take advantage of that beautiful weather, I will start with the bottom. I will apply the recommended three coats of epoxy on the panels, um, but all the faces that are supposed to be or will be inside the tanks, I will not coat more than once. It's up to you guys. Just remember, the more coats you apply, the longer your boat will last. Me. I, I'm opting to choose for just one coat inside the tanks as this will probably never get any water in there. You also you might want to sand this down, especially on the exposed areas and if you're going to varnish your boat even more. But uh, in any case, I think it's a good idea to just sand it down. That's 120 very quickly. So just to get rid of any uh, roughness that might be on the, on the wood. Okay, I'm mixing 120 grams of epoxy now. I'm gonna start with the inside of the center case so I can finally close this. Okay, remove the excess epoxy. We just want a thin coat for now. Now I'll use a foam roller just to even it out. Okay, that's first coat done. Now let's move to the side panels. I usually wouldn't do any epoxying in the sun because it might 
uh, heat up and start creating micro bubbles. But this is the interior of the tanks, it's out of sight. So all I'm looking for is the encapsulating effect of the epoxy, that's all. Okay, so 100 grams of epoxy was just enough for those two panels. So 100 grams more coming up. Okay, now the epoxy is tacky. It's trying to hold the glove, but no residue comes on the glove. So, perfect for the second coat. Okay, I mixed 100 grams this time, not 120, because the first coat uh, fills all the texture on the wood, so you use less epoxy on the second and third coats. So that's 100 I used this time, and there was still enough for, well, something else, which I don't have anything ready, so you're better off scrapping remaining epoxy than rushing to use it on something else and then screw up. Now I'm going to have my lunch and then I'll apply the third coat on this part and this area as well. Okay, I just remember that the sheets I'm using are two and a half meter long, so they are bigger than the standard ones, which means that the transom won't come here where I taped it, it will glue somewhere around here. So I will have to sand that down when I need to, uh, to do the filleting. I've taken the day off to do all this coating today and so far I've got about four hours work, maybe four and a half. So I'm gonna do some other stuff. Uh, maybe close the center case and glue some cleats on the top of the side panels. Okay, let's start this by pre-coating the gluing areas. Guys, regarding the pre-coating of the panels, you can do this either at the start with the full sheet or before the bulk bulkhead cutouts or when I did, or you can do it at the end. It doesn't really matter. It works anyway. Just plan your work and do it according to your plan. Okay, let's use the super glued scarf strip first. Okay guys, I've put a pin here on this end and on the other end in a way that when that cleat goes here it won't just spread glue all over the place. So let's hope this works. Space is at a premium here. That's it guys, that's about six hours work today. I'm ready for a shower. <laughs> and yet another beautiful winter's day. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and coat a few more panels. 100 grams should be enough to coat the, for the first coat on the, both these panels. Okay, here I purposely did not mask this edge or the bulkheads placements. 
Um, yes, we're going to need fillets there as well and here, but here we left it bare plywood, here it's coated. That's no problem. I've done this on my Goat Island skiff. I did not mask anything on, the, on that build. And in the end, I just had to grab the orbital sander and carefully just sand this here almost to the wood again. Uh, and the boat's going strong for uh, what, five seasons now. So don't worry if you don't mask or if you forget to mask something, it's not the end of the world. You can always do it and it will be just as strong. Okay, I've got a bit left over. So I'm gonna close this center case. This is starting to, um, to warm up, so I need to hurry on this one. Yeah, I'm hurrying, but I had everything ready. But right, when all the epoxies spread and you've taken the excess epoxy out with the squeegee then you roll it and in the end you drag the roll so it will break all the tiny bubbles that the foam might leave in the epoxy that will minimize like that orange peel effect okay guys i'm gonna fit the gunnels now Gently squeezing this until it oozes out will help keep the, this button in place. Okay, so this is the outside of the boat. So this is the gunnel. If you're using the timber frame method, you should have another strip like this, but on the opposite side, right here, like a shine log, okay? Because I'm using the filleting method, I do not have another one there or here or anywhere else. I only need the gunnel. Okay, check the plans and make sure you have the ones you need for the method you're using. So that's three coats on all of these panels. Well, one side anyway. It's another six hours work today. So this week I'll be close to 16 hours, I would say, 